Just that, you know, later on in the season, as we continue to progress, it will become more cerebral out there on the floor, you know. Um, in the NBA, you, you, it's hard to manage a game when you're trading baskets, you know. Like, it's, it's one of the most difficult things to do to separate yourself in a game when you go up five and then you give up a three, give up a two, fouls, you know, slowing the game down. So, you know, we still have a lot of experience to garner with each other. So, you know, not to get too high or too low, you know, welcome to the big stage. You know, like, it's going to be like that sometimes and you're going to have guys play out of their, you know, kind of their comfort zone when you're playing against certain players. And now I'm used to it. You know, I've had game winners shot on me, you know, down the stretch oh, so many times. So, uh, you know, it's just throw one in the bank and, you know, just try to get better from this. Watch film, you know, get better defensively. Just got to compete better on that end and get more consistency. And then our offense will take care of itself. What's the key to strengthening that chemistry on the defensive side of the ball? Well, just communication and, more importantly, physicality. We just got to bring the fight to the other team. You know, they were really comfortable at times. And um, like I said, guys that don't normally make plays, they were making plays tonight, and they had a, a great, comfortable game. So, you know, you just look back at film, see where you could be position-wise, and um, just move on. The, on the defensive end specifically, I mean, chemistry and cohesion, I mean, that usually can come with playing time and familiarity. But from a physicality angle, that doesn't necessarily just breed with cohesion how, how do you guys correct that well, it's just a choice you know getting back making sure that you're not over aggressive on certain certain defensive sequences out of position um you know that does have something to do with cohesion when you bring the physicality on defensive end i don't know how many games you've watched over your lifetime i know you've watched it a long time but when you have the physicality and you have the mind up here from head up you know your spots and you can play off instincts and you're teammates can trust where you're going to be and they know where your aggression is going to take them to another level you know just like me at the head of the snake or I'm on the backside at the end of the game you know that's physicality brought you know I'm covering J.A. you know Jay's like thank you for having my back of course I'm supposed to you know that, that's something that you bring to the game that's a choice what, you, what did you think of Moran's performance tonight what do you like that you saw from him Oh, man, I mean, I expected him to come out aggressive, um, you know, be who he is, got downhill a few times, finished over our bigs, you know, didn't really hit the outside shot tonight, which we, we wanted to encourage, but he did what he, you know, he's pretty great at what he's known for, and that's getting in the paint, playing with a lot of passion, and I think he showed that tonight. And so in falling to Memphis, the Nets lost their first road game of the season.